God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you no more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me Good morning! I'm in a very, very, very good mood today. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. If you watched week one and week two, and now you're here for week three, you're a real one. Shout out to you. I really need to use the bathroom. I really gotta pee. Really, 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 really gotta pee. Because I finished my tea for the morning and I finished all my water. These people gotta go. I went to bed at 10 o'clock last night, listening to, after I listened to um, a sermon by Apostle Selman called The Voice of God, which was really powerful. And I think I've listened to it before. When, at some point during the sermon, I was like, I've heard this thing before. I don't know when I listened to it, but maybe last year I listened to it, but it was really good. I went to bed at 10. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning. 4 a.m. this morning. So this week, was fantastic prayed into worship spent time just kind of just like catching up with the holy spirit and then i got on a phone call with i got on a call with so me and then after that i went to the gym i went to the gym this morning i worked out came back upstairs grabbed my tea and my water got myself ready out the door left the house before seven o'clock i think i left at 6 45. Well, i'm so happy that i got up this early because i told you guys if i'm able to do it one day this week that's a success so this week was a success thank you jesus i really gotta go i really really gotta go oh thank you jesus oh i gotta share what happened yesterday with you guys in fact as i'm thinking about it i'm already getting emotional so backstory, I was over at my friend's place for the weekend. We had family over, so that was really good. Um, so I went to run a quick errand. I wanted to go to the dollar store to get some packs for food. And then I wanted to go to the African store to get some tomatoes and I think plantain. Now, as I was leaving my friend's house, I got into the car and as I was about to drive, I realized my phone battery had died. I started to say, oh, Holy Spirit, please help me. Like, I want this battery to come on because mind you, I don't live in that area. And so I don't know my way around, right? So I was just going to literally, in my head, I'm like, okay, once I start driving, my phone will come on and then I can go and do what I need to do. And as I was driving, I started to think, think in my mind, Okay, so when I looked at the map before I left the house, I know that the map was almost like in a, like an L. So I knew that I was supposed to go left and then right and then right somewhere. But I didn't know exactly what part because I just looked for the place. I looked for the closest Dollar Tree. I get on the freeway, this phone, nothing, nothing. It didn't come on. The battery was taking so long to charge and it just wasn't coming on. 
I was about to cross into the next part of the freeway and I saw that people were driving into like an H-E-B um, thing. So I was like, okay, let me just go into this H-E-B place and see if there would be a Dollar Tree or anything here because I don't know where I'm going. This is like 15 minutes now I've been driving. So I literally, in the in the course of just like driving, I kept just like talking to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please help me find this place. But then I was also complaining to the Holy Spirit about something. Like I was just like pouring my heart out and just sharing my heart out and like saying, Holy Spirit, I don't like that this happened. Da, da, da. I'm talking and the next thing, so I'm going through a bump and I'm like, oh, gosh, I've been driving in this place. I can't find this um, Dollar Tree. Let me just go back. Let me just go back home because at least I can find my way back home to my friend's place because I know how I got here. I could remember how I got to the H-E-B. As I went over the bump and I was like, Holy Spirit, please help me. Like, I'm tired. I was about to give up. I just, I drove a little further and I saw something on the wall that said D and T. And you know how Dollar Tree is like dollar and then tree at the bottom. Guys, when I tell you, and I, as I was getting closer, it was almost like, I almost couldn't believe it. Like, wait, I was about to give up. I was just saying to Holy Spirit, please just help me, please just help me. But I wasn't really thinking about the fact that, yes, the Holy Spirit was actually going to help me find the, the Dollar Tree. I just saw Dollar Tree. I saw the door. It was the green little things that they have on um, usually Dollar Tree doors. When I tell you, I started crying inside the car. Not, not just because I just thought to myself, wow, like, Holy Spirit, you actually care. But it was just kind of like, it was one of those moments where I was like, if I could even go back and pinpoint like the nudges, I don't remember any nudge in my heart to say, oh, go left or go right. No, because like I said, I was complaining in the car. I wasn't even praying. I was saying, you know, telling him how I wasn't happy about a particular situation and for him to just be so caring and just care enough to lead me right to the front of Dollar Tree. I just felt like, wow, God, you are actually something else. Like, who am I that you're so mindful of me? It was such a humbling experience. I can never forget it. I can never forget it. And when I was done, when I parked and I came out and I cleaned my tears and I walked into Dollar Tree, as I was leaving, this phone was still not on. It was still dead, but then I was like, you know what, if God brought me to Dollar Tree, then I certainly believe that he'll take me to the African store. I still didn't know where it was. I then drove out of um, Dollar Tree and as I was getting on the freeway, I was about to drive off to make a U-turn. My phone finally came on and I searched for the dollar um, for the African store real quick and it was the right turn that I was just about to pass. So I literally just trafficated to the right and went into the African store and got everything I needed to get. I'm just sharing that story that testimony because that was just a pointer to say you know where the part of the bible that says i'm with you i will never leave you nor forsake you i wasn't thinking about it i wasn't praying for it i wasn't you know when i say i wasn't praying for it i guess i was praying for it like it was a prayer but i was in a conversation with god not really thinking too much about it hoping and believing that he would show me where it was but really and truly i would have still i would have been fine if I went back to my friend's house to just say, ah, oh, my phone was dead. I couldn't get to the Dollar Tree and the African store. But yeah, that that blew my mind. That was the fuel that I needed for this week. I know that he knows that I needed it. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so thankful for, for God. I'm so thankful that I have a God that cares for me in that manner. Cares for the very little things. I mean, come on. Helping me find a Dollar Tree tree store like really yeah god is good i hope that blessed you i hope that encouraged you no, I'm a child of
officially Tuesday. I told you guys Tuesdays are Tuesdays are chill days for me. I get to meet up with my girls for the father's bride. And so I think like beforehand, I think my spirit is just prepping for prayer time. I don't know what it is, but Tuesday mornings are a little quiet for me. I'm more I'm more quiet than usual. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. We've had class today. This week we're doing food and then just trying to learn all the vocabs around food, like how to say things, how to say what you like to eat, how to, how to say what you like to drink, those kinds of things, and then the different types of foods. I remember some stuff, so let me teach you guys what I remember. Masla is butter. Miasa is beef. Kuritsa is chicken. What is right now? Pirog is pie. Macaroni is macaroni. Hmm. Malako is milk. Yablaka is apple. Apelsine is orange, which is different from aranji, which is orange the color. Ovashi is vegetables. Yaitsa is eggs. Yaitso is egg, right? So singular and plural. Zavstrak is breakfast, Abied is lunch, Uju is dinner, Vada is water, I think Vinu is wine, Ris is rice, how can I forget rice? Riba is fish, I think that's all, I don't think I'm missing anything else. I'm about to pick up something from the hotel where my friend stayed, she, she got an Amazon package and couldn't pick it up before leaving. Okay, so I've worked out this morning. You guys be proud of me. I've worked out this morning. I worked out at 6 a.m. Got out the house at 6.45. Had a great day so far. Getting ready for my girlies this afternoon to pray for our spouses. So I'm looking forward to what God is gonna do during this time, during our time of prayer today. I'm always looking forward to Tuesday prayer because it just does something for for me personally it does something for the rest of the week especially where it concerns my marriage so I'm always looking forward to it sometimes I would go into prayer and maybe I'm not in the best moods but it'll just lift my spirit and just remind me you know that God is the one that builds homes except a man builds with the Lord he builds in vain so it's a beautiful humble reminder of the fact that God is the one God is the builder of my home so I can rely on him he can be trusted I can go to him about everything and anything and I know that he's my father and he will he'll hear me he'll answer me he'll prune me he'll teach me he'll work with me he'll you know everything that I need for my home to be godly he'll he'll provide everything my husband needs for him to be the best you know leader and protector and father in our home the lord will provide one of my biggest prayers i'm looking away and, and i'm not i'm thinking as i'm talking one of my biggest prayers is that because of these meetings that we have every week marriages will be drawn into the kingdom of god more marriages not just marriages that are part of the father's bride but even even more marriages connected to the father's bride like through people that are on through people that will end up coming on and just praying for homes that will glorify the lord so that is my my biggest heart to cry this year where it concerns the father's bride <laughs> Sahar. Ice 
Marijs, Marijen, Marijenje, Marijenje. Just for so long, so stuck in my own way. So I enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. Giving what she's supposed to give right now. <laughs> you know what I just saw on my oh, because I was watching Tolu Lokwe's vlog. It says mom of two, but literally it's giving mom of two. <laughs> mm. This banana yogurt from From um, what's it called? From see on the spot is the real deal. I have to run and pick up. Okay, you guys haven't seen me on the vlog for a while. Well, for a few days, just because when I'm passenger princess and I'm not driving, and TJ is driving, I just enjoy the ride. I just enjoy being passenger princess. Like I don't vlog. I don't. You know, I don't do too much. Sometimes I'll do like a B real, like a B like I'll do like a B roll when I'm in the car with him or something. But I don't. I tend to vlog more when I'm alone. Um, you know, also because it's you know it's my vlog. Um, and also I want to respect everyone's privacy when I'm with other people as well. I know I I used to hear people say this back in the like back when I used to watch a lot of like family and weekly vlogs and I didn't quite understand it but it makes sense it's like you know it's your vlog you want to be in it but you don't necessarily want everybody to be in it um, especially family just because you want to respect their privacy you want to respect if they want to be or if they don't want to be on the vlog anyway so yeah so I haven't been vlogging well the past couple days he's been taking me to school in the mornings thank god so I haven't vlogged um, but Today is Kay's birthday and I am off to pick up her flowers and go to her house. She doesn't know that I'm coming to her house with flowers, but I'm going to drop them off. I'm sure she's going to be so happy. Um, so yeah, let's go to Bloom and Box and I will catch you guys when I'm on my way to... Yes, the pink room. <laughs> Was she able to do the 29? Or did she do 25? What do you think I can do 24? It's okay. It's cute. Thank you. Can I get the card to write a note? Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. You guys, look how cute. Oh, such a 
special delivery. So cute. I'm going to deliver it myself to the to the special birthday girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Not you, not you dancing and your child is crying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to laugh at myself because if I don't laugh at myself I'll end up crying why have I vlogged this morning four times and all my videos are blurry I just want to know why like why 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 is that happening to me good morning happy Friday welcome back <sighs> to, this week has been amazing this week has been great I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna keep saying that because nothing's gonna steal my joy this week has been great it's been amazing how are you guys doing I hope you guys are well I hope you've had a great week just to catch you guys up on a few things your girl got a silk, silk press done. The lady who does my silk presses, her name is Melanie. I go to this place in Houston called Cheval by Monet, and Melanie does my hair. She does it so well all the time, so I, I just love going to her specifically. You know how like you have different places that you go to for certain things, and when you go there, you just find, well, sometimes you find your person, other times not so much, but sometimes you find your person. Melanie is my girl, so I really enjoy my time with her. But I'm saying all that to say that she told me yesterday that I should consider getting my hair heat trained just because I really like carrying my hair straight. So she was like, you know, maybe you should consider getting your hair heat trained. And what that means is you can consider putting more heat on your hair so that your hair is used to being straight as opposed to being curly. I never wear my hair curly. Never. Like, I don't even know what to do with my hair when my hair is curly. So wearing my hair straight would be would definitely be my go-to style. It would be something that's easy for me to do. It's quick. I don't have to think too much about it. I don't have to worry about putting water on my hair. All that good stuff. So that for my lifestyle is is perfect. For someone else, maybe not so much. You know, I know a lot of people like to carry their hair curly. And honestly, when I see it on certain types of hair, it's beautiful. Like I love seeing the girlies with curly hair. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. I'm gonna heat train my hair so that my hair can keep being straight. So that's that for Silk Press. Russian is going well. Still extremely intense, but going well. I'm currently on my way to class. And honestly, guys, I'm not even gonna lie. It's been, it's, it's been very intense. I've, I feel like I'm, I'm catching up slower than I would like to, just because it's a language. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not as straightforward as English or calculations, which is my thing. Like calculate and go I'm having to learn how to conjugate and having to also learn how to I also need to remember these things that I'm learning memorize some of the stuff that I'm learning as well because you know we don't have exams for this class but we have quizzes and interviews and you know I definitely want to make an A in the class by the grace of God so I gotta put in the work Monday and Tuesday this week I was <laughs> I sat down on my desk for almost 12 hours in total just working on my Russian assignment yes it sounds crazy but yes I had to Sunday and Monday not Monday and Tuesday Sunday and Monday because my assignment was due on Tuesday okay so let me tell you guys so every Tuesday when we go to class we um, my TA does this thing on a on a on the computer like the you know how you have like the first wheel like a wheel that she well, automatically clicks on on the computer for her to choose five people who are gonna turn in their assignments and to be honest you can go through the class without ever being chosen to turn in your assignment or you can go through the class and you'll be chosen multiple times it just depends it's like you know it's probability tell me why on Sunday I just knew it in my spirit I just knew this week 
you're gonna get called i felt it i just knew it on tuesday morning when i went to class whose name was the first name that was called on the register to to turn in assignments <laughs> my name i was just like i saw number 13 and i was like nah it's not me she was like tomorrow i said oh yeah fantastic but thank god i had done my assignment again like i said i had spent 12 hours doing this thing so i had done my assignment so that's um fantastic so that's the that's good um we will now find out how i did on the assignment you know next week so we'll see but yeah that's how russian is going but it's it's been going pretty well i'm driving myself today because my husband took me three times this week to school bless his heart <laughs> bless his heart honestly he took me he took me three times and i'm so grateful this morning i was like don't worry i'll drive myself you know because i also want to um try and do some bag work on my way back from school i want to stop over at my mom's and get some So kickboxing in i miss kickboxing i haven't i haven't done kickboxing in too long so i really want to try and get in some bag work today apart from that i am hanging out with Kay today you guys saw yesterday was her birthday so we're going to brunch today we're going to joey uptown for brunch and then in the evening i'm meeting up with my girl vanessa we are going to dinner somewhere I don't know where we're going. I don't I don't remember what it's called, but she just picked somewhere nice and she was like, let's try it. And I was like, for sure. So at 8.30 I have dinner and at 1.30 I have brunch with King. Let me tell you guys what happened to my mom. It's the lady that does my brows. It's the lady that does my mom's brows. But I go to her because you know how these things are. If you don't find someone to do your brows properly, you would just be going through through a bunch of different people and then they will just be messing up your brows anything you see you just have to take it and for the longest time being here i hadn't found a brow lady that i i liked so if i was actually the one that introduced me to this lady and she's really good you know she does my brows well she threads them and you know i don't have to worry too much about losing so much hair the lady that used to do my brows before she used to use blades all like if you look like if you look close enough obviously you can't look close enough but if you if you look close enough you see that the top of my hair is not all my hair is gone i have to keep putting coconut oil for the thing to grow like i don't know why these brow ladies they just mess people up anyways my mom went there this week the lady who does our brows she wasn't there and my mom was like oh yeah let me try someone else mom why she said let me try someone else and this lady took she took all her brows everything off everything off she div she divided her brows into two like why 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 are people wicked but also i said to my mom why would you why would you try someone new these are your brows you know there's no room for error where it concerns brows it's not like you know if you make a mistake you can just use your pencil and correct it no it's hair it's gone you have to look surprised until the next time ah, I got a call from my mom and my brother so I had to answer yeah the other thing that I was gonna talk about was the vlogs guys I have to apologize because even though I've recorded week one week two and now week three vlogs and I've edited I've started editing but I haven't finished editing the vlogs they're gonna come late just because I'm doing one million and one things at the same time and I just want to ask you guys for grace because it's not easy I'm trying my best so that I can get the vlogs out on time I'll try to edit this weekend so that I can have it out on Monday or Tuesday latest and then that way you guys can now see if you like the vlog style i'm also trying to gauge you guys feel about vlogs because i haven't been posting vlogs consistently on this channel and so you know what happens when you haven't been posting a certain type of content consistently you know when you do post it then you you have to gauge and see do people like it do they not are they feeling it are they not that's kind of what i also want to see as well when i post the vlogs 
hopefully you guys will take to it because I know that you guys like like the type of content that I post when I'm actually talking to the camera. I know a lot of you have said that to me in the comments, so we'll see. I also want you to let me know the type of content that you want to see on my channel. I don't want it to just kind of be like I'm just feeding you content that I think you'll like. I also want to know what you like so that at least I'm aware and we're sort of building this community together based off of what you actually enjoy watching on this channel, if that makes sense. Let me listen to my worship music, get my brain and my head together this morning. I literally got into the car, started driving, and I haven't, you know how it is, you need to just, you know, I gotta praise, I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta get on my praise first. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna listen to a sermon on this drive, I think I'm just gonna worship. Sometimes you just need to worship and just, center yourself it's really important one of the things that happen to me when i'm driving is i'm able to just focus on talking to god i don't know why i don't know if this if i'm the only one that this happens to and somehow i can think when i'm driving and i'm alone in the car i don't always listen to music in the car sometimes it's dead silent but i'm thinking i'm talking to god i'm planning i'm you know i'm just resetting my mind it's like self-care. It's, it's been a great week and we thank God. Father, we thank you. We thank you. And even, even right now, for someone who's having um, a hard time going through the week and, you know, just kind of feeling like we're in February already and I haven't done X, Y, Z. Father, I just pray for my sister or my brother right now, Lord, and I'm just asking that you settle them in their spirits. I'm asking for peace that surpasses all understanding. God, I'm asking that you meet them right where they need you. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking, Lord, that whoever it is that needed me to stop in my tracks right now to pray over them, that, Lord, you surprise them. I'm praying that you you surprise them and you take absolute control of whatever the situation is that they're going through right now in Jesus' name. I pray that you just touch the heart of someone, you know, to do something sweet and something kind for another person this week in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, the birthday girl. Cheers. Thank you so much. The rest of your drinks are being made up. What did they say about the birthday? I didn't see any notes, though. Tamara, still on the girls. I didn't see Tamara. Why are we dancing like that? <laughs> I didn't know they had this outdoor place. It's not bad. You want to take pictures? So the original top that I wanted to wear, it didn't quite work out. So I'm wearing this top that I got from Zara. I'm wearing my combat jeans, same jeans that I've been wearing. And then I just put my hair in a bun, brought the front to the side a little bit, and I'm off to dinner with Vanessa. I love these glasses. They just give something like serious without being too serious, you know? Anyways, took my jacket because I know I'm gonna be cold. Your girl's out. It looks pretty nice. I feel like I recognize this place, but at the same time, I don't think I've been to this restaurant before. Let's see. Beautiful girl. Happy New Year. Cheers, my darling. <laughs> I love this behind the scenes of the vlog. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Cheers. Oh, oh. Do it, do it, do it, do it. What happened? It was a Balsamic vinaigrette has been aged in sherry oak, 
barrels for eight years. Eight years, wow. It's very nice. It goes very well with our salad dishes. Can you imagine that? First of all, why did they not have bags? <laughs> These people didn't have any bags. <laughs> so I had to carry my food in my hand. Can you imagine? That was the first thing. <laughs> Second of all, the food took, it took like an hour 30 minutes for that food to come out.